Hello, so I guess uh, if you've been looking at my videos lately, I've decided to sell my uh, Dodge van. And uh, one thing that's become a problem is that uh, a couple of years ago, as you can see on the raw, or the uh, wheel opening there on the back, is that I cut a section of it that was rusted. I also cut out part of the uh, rocker panel. And in Ontario, it turns out these parts need to be welded in if you're going to uh, get a safety on the vehicle. You could try to hide it by doing many different things you might be aware of or not, and I'll be getting into that. So uh, I bought a uh, rocker cover from Choice Bumpers, I think is the name of the company. And then uh, I'll take a look at the parts here quickly. So this was like a full section. It ran from uh, right here. To the uh, end of the door opening to right about here. I'm just trying to figure out how to install it because I'm not a professional body person. So what I did was I kind of cut it a little less than half on the back side that I'm going to be using and if things go really bad I'll still have enough from the front that I can reuse it because I'm not going to replace the entire part. Show you some stickers here. Give that a second to zoom in. Yeah, choice bumper, that's their sticker there. So I'll just take off uh, the running board quickly. It's just held on by some big sheet metal screws. So this hole here is too big, even if I bought like a wheel arch, I think it would stop part way through. So I decided to make a piece for it. This is actually my first attempt at panel beating. So I just used a piece of railway track to form this on and used a, a shrinker stretcher to kind of put the, the contour in the end. So I made it plenty big at this point, as you can see. I kind of wanted to rivet it on with like brass rivets to make a steampunk look when I was going to keep the van, but now that it's being sold, that's just not going to happen. So then on the bottom, you can see, I just I cut out the rust and treated it just to stop it. See it there or not, probably not enough light. There's a, a water tank here. I gotta be mindful when I'm welding. There's a, a rib coming down here. I'll try to flip the camera over, it might be kind of disorienting. I'm watching it. So, what I did was uh, trying to figure out how to fit this panel. It was too long. So I cut out like a two inch wide strip to kind of play around with it. It wasn't clear to me if it goes over or if it goes under or is it installer's choice or what is it? I don't know. It doesn't come with any instructions. So it seems to fit pretty good over. This needs to be bent up a little bit. So that's sort of where I'm at right now with uh, doing the install. With the uh, running board being there, it hides most of the workmanship. I still want to do a good job, but I don't want to put a huge amount of effort into it either. So it's a bit of a learning situation, plus I want to sell the vehicle. So I try to manage how much time I put into this. So. I think what we're going to do is figure out if it's going to go over or under. You can't go over the whole way, right? Because you've got an opening here and a lip and some different things. But it'll end up being a line that's visible like that much from the outside if I don't uh, 
match the heights. I would like to match the heights. So we'll see how it turns out. Hopefully this becomes a complete video. If somebody decides to buy the van as is, then uh, the video will never get finished because they're going to have to complete the job. So I got a couple ideas on how I'm going to weld this. I got a MIG TIG set up. So uh, I'll try to do that. This part was always a bit daunting to me because the white is, was repainted a, a number of years ago and it's stayed really good. The burgundy is the original. So whatever heat damage I get, I need to keep it within the burgundy. I don't want to get into the white because then I'd need to like, well not me, but somebody would have to repaint the van and cover up that last little bit of the uh, whatever damage there might be. I don't really want to get involved in that. I don't want to leave somebody with that problem either. So we'll try to figure out uh, how we do this. Alright, so we're making a bit of progress here, making the uh, patch panel fit. So uh, one thing that I've come up with is that the patch, where this line is, it's kind of best suited if you do like a over like this, it kind of lines up the uh, uh, body line correctly. But I'm trying to go from underneath and it puts it off a little bit. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'll show you what tools I've been using. So I just got like a, a Milwaukee grinder. I don't recommend this one. This is the 613033. It's underpowered. It's a piece of junk. I won't buy that. It heats up too much. It's just running a tiny little blade there and it can barely do it. But I've got a Diablo, a Diablo thin cutting blade on it and that's very good. Recommend that. Bit of painter's tape. Scribe for marking lines. Square transitioning lines across uh, different gaps and whatnot. So that's working nicely. in there pretty good. Like I said, I gotta figure out that body line. And then it's not quite bent enough in the middle either. So I gotta give that a good kink, get that to fit. So I'll probably use a couple tech screws in here to hold this up and do some more work. Alright, so things are progressing fairly well. Like I said, I ended up using a couple tech screws to grab onto the piece while I'm working on it. Put one there. I had to rejig the way I was mounting this patch. I had uh, this over here. There's like a three quarter inch difference, the width of a piece of tape. So I had to take that off from uh, this end here. The gap is a bit more than I like. And like I said, the, uh, the profile changes a little bit. So I got to figure that out, how to make that look nice and tidy. I'll have to take this piece off in order to drill the holes for the uh, plug welds. And then also do a little bit of painting here and there. Try to protect it as best I can. It's a summer only vehicle. People need to consider that when they buy a camper. Otherwise it'll be short lived. I end up using a jack to force the thing into place. So a drip rail need to ding that back into position. But I'm pretty happy with uh, the way this has turned out. It really wasn't a whole lot of effort. I kind of think that the welding might be trickier. So I haven't done much sheet metal, metal, metal welding in the past. So the next piece that needs to go on covers the big hole. So I gotta work on the gaps of that as well. Figure out where it's going to end. Because that's uh, kind of the tricky part, right? Because this is uh, was a seam in the past and it was welded up in here it's not really possible to do if you're assembling it with a spot welding machine for sure you could but you got to figure it out I'll come up with a solution that looks uh, reasonable this part will be visible that is above uh, where the running board is so anyway 
keep picking away at it and see where we get to next. All right, so I thought it was uh, time for an update for the uh, repair I'd be doing on the van. So I got the uh, the rocker panel in. I think it worked out pretty good. I found out that welding upside down, you put a lot of heat in the panel and it starts to burn through, so you gotta kinda take your time when you're doing that. I didn't do the uh, grinding as of yet. It was starting to get dark and I couldn't see what I was doing, so I decided to stop for the night. I did do uh, some grinding across here. I think it's uh, looking pretty respectable. Like, if you're gonna do a bit of body filler over top of this, I think that'd be the, the best option. It's not quite to the level of metal finishing, but that's okay. So again, I was working at night and I couldn't see what I was doing, but I didn't have the uh, pinch weld close enough together to get the spot to take, so I stopped. I'm gonna do that today. I'm gonna put in the bigger patch here. Hopefully that works out pretty good. What I did was uh, to dial in the welder, not that it's fully dialed in yet, was that I just took uh, a bunch of slices of the rocker panel I wasn't going to use. And uh, I took the settings off my welder and just kept trying them to see until I could get some penetration on the weld. I did a bit of welding on the back too. Did a bunch of different things just playing around, making a blob. See what it would take to burn through. And with the 18 gauge or 1.2 millimeter here, it's actually pretty reasonable to weld. My goal was to dial in the welder so I could just tack it and it would end up with like a flush bead. But uh, I couldn't quite achieve that. What I found was that it's easy enough to grind off so I just said forget it. I'll just uh, make some lumpy welds and then grind them off because I was getting good penetration. I just couldn't get the, the top side of it dialed in. So for a welder, I've been using a Tweco 211 fabricator. I think Thermal Arc made these and uh, ESAB bought them out and they discontinued the product line because they had their own little welder they wanted to promote rather than uh, what they'd bought from the products. And then for uh, grinder, I've just been using, like I said, the Diablo blades. I think I mentioned that in a, a previous portion of the video got some extras here. I think it's 80 grit that I've got on there, I'm not too sure. Some random tools there. Use some uh, weld through zinc primer. This stuff is actually really thick. I was surprised at how it went on. So I put that on before uh, I welded over on the vehicle. And I might just end up brushing on some paint at the end. Because again, I'm trying to keep this as uh, cost effective as possible. So if the next person that owns the van decides that they want to repaint the bottom, then this section will be ready to go. And they can have somebody do that for them. So anyway, we'll get back to welding and we'll see how it goes. Thank you. All right, so we're gonna get the new piece fitted on here. So I sprayed the back of it with a weld through primer. Sprayed the exposed parts in the back panel with weld through primer. It'll be able to uh, reach in here with a wand and oil spray this, so that'll have to get done after the paint is done up. So uh, see if we can get this piece to flip on here or not. So I don't know where all those magnets came out. If I took them out of something I was throwing away, they seemed like they might be handy in the future, and it turns out that they are. So you can see I got a, a pretty nice fit there. It's going to weld around the edge, along the bottom, and up top here. So from the beginning my biggest concern is protecting this paint. And I found that uh, the weld, the heat damage is not too bad. So if I take my time, I will be able to save the paint. I need to put some cardboard or something over top of it, so there's no weld spatter on it. But that's pretty much uh, what we're going to put on here. I used the shrinker on here to put a contour on this so that it follows the side of the van. So I think it worked out pretty good for a, a first uh, sheet metal repair without using any bond or anything. We'll see how it turns out. Alright, so I just did the first pass there on the second part. So I got 261 for wire speed and 15.9 for voltage. I got my inductance all the way. That's 
actually not something I'm very good at explaining, but it's sort of the depth of the weld. And then uh, we're going to stick back and have it all the way out. They call it burn back. So the farther you turn that over, the more stick out you get. And uh, I want to be nice and close so I have that turned right down. This is the uh, end result. Lots of metal I've got to grind off. That's all right. So I'm going to grind that off and I'll take a look at it. All right, did the grinding. A little bit of porosity in a spot there. A little bit of a low spot there. Everything that's very easy to fix. So I'm going to weld across the bottom now. Just got to push that in. Make sure it's all clean and have a way at it. All right, so this is a final job here before we get the paint on the van. It looks good from above. The grinding, the way I welded it, if you're laying on your back, it's not quite as pretty. I can fill that in after I get the first coat of paint on. Just want to cover this up quick. So I'm going to have to wash the van. It's got grinding dust all over it. It's going to get all rusty if I don't wash it off. So I got to do that quick. So thanks again. All right, got the welding all done. Got it painted up. Got the uh, running board back on. And I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. There's no body filler in this at all, it's just one coat of uh, trim clad. Obviously it looks a little bit lumpy, but when the uh, body filler person comes in, they can knock it down a little bit and fill it over. Make it perfect, and they'll probably paint the uh, entire part of the burgundy van. So like I said, I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. I've never done a uh, welding body welded body repair before. And uh, took a good part of a day, but hey, it's done.